Let me hit you a couple rapid fire questions. Okay. Uh, red flag laws. You familiar with red, red flag laws? Yeah. What's your position on that? I'm against them. I'm a Second Amendment hardliner, but since this is rapid fire, take a look at my NRA speech. That lays out the history. I, I don't adopt these as sort of political positions. I'm grounded in history, and so I laid out a detailed historical case for that in my NRA speech earlier this year. Great, great. What about uh, what about vaccines, vaccine mandates? Dead set against vaccine mandates. And I think that that was one of the major learnings from that last pandemic. And I also want to point out a hypocrisy, Jack, that other people haven't yet pointed out. And I know this because I've interfaced with the FDA, which is a disastrous and corrupt organization. The same laws and agency that say you don't have the right to try. <laughs> For example, not to forget a mandate. You don't even have the right to try a medicine that hasn't been through 10 years of testing. That's how dangerous that could be, is the same agency and the same government that says that if there's a vaccine that's pushed through in less than a year, not only is it safe enough for you to try, it's safe enough to be mandated upon you on the basis of a lie. And that's a hypocrisy that I don't think others have pointed out, but I think is the most obvious hypocrisy of the entire policy. How about, uh, how about immigration, specifically the question of legal immigration? Yeah, so I am unapologetically a hardliner on using the military on the southern border. On legal immigration, I stand for merit-based immigration. Is that a bunch of tech guys in Silicon Valley? No. Actually, most of our job openings are in other functions that are unfulfilled. But to me, there's two parts to merit-based immigration, and the second part doesn't get talked about much. One is contributions of skills to this country, but the second is civic commitments to this country. So I would take the citizenship test of knowing about the Constitution, the separation of powers, the history of the U.S., and bring that to the front end and make that a requirement even to get a visa to come into the country. And by the way, I also think that every high school student who graduates from high school should have to pass that same civics test, too. So that's where I land on that. Yeah, I think first, I, th I heard you mention on Timcast, by the way, that you'd also introduce that for uh, for voting under, I think, 25 or 26. Yes, yes. 